us in a big way because we know that could be a dangerous tactic because I can guarantee you the guys on the other side, they heard that and they're looking for anything to galvanize them. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Vintage Russ. Vintage Russell Wilson. Maybe down from earlier in his career, but he's still a threat to go. Showing it there, picking up the first down. To throw is Wilson. And to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. I spotted man coverage on the outside. I expect we'll see a lot of that from this defense as this game moves on. And that was a good job there as that one was knocked away. Throwing again on second and ten. Wilson. That's complete to DK Metcalf. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams 26. A gain there of 21 yards. Hmm. Maybe we should start playing man. Nice answer to the touchdown drive against him a few minutes ago because they've come out and Just a little bit. A nice throw there. And they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running. Oh, man. Touchdown, Seahawks. Chris Carson with a lucky number we, not, we, we might not be able to play zone against Seattle. We might have to play man. Just an extra point away from tying this thing up. We might have to play man up too deep. Getting your back involved. What's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. Oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. Jason Myers now for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. So oh, now y'all are celebrating. Y'all are celebrating a tie score, score when you're, like, in the bottom of the division. Each team has seven Not seven a very good look. Away. Jackson now to return. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. And as this offense makes their way back out, NFC playoff race time, we give you a look at what's going on there. And for them, it's no longer a question of will they make the playoffs. They've clinched the division title. The question, can they hold on to that number one seed? And this is where the mental fortitude comes to play, doesn't it? Because now you've got just the coach talking about it, his team talking mm, about it, each zone. other, supporting each other, carrying each other along, because having that number one seed means everything in the NFL. It does, so even though the division title's clinched, shouldn't take the foot off again. No, not at all. Play it all the way through. I think we've seen that in recent years in the NFL. The teams that play and play to win each and every game, they're the ones to deal with in the playoffs. Now a play fake it at Stafford. They'll roll him out right. And the open receiver, it's Robert Woods. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Another big play as they get 28 out of that one. Those are the kinds of plays right there that show you why he's the number three man of the NFL in terms of receiving yards. It also tells you there's a full combination of what he's got going in his game. You name it, from route running to catching the football, that's why he's able to produce those types ah. of numbers. This is caught. It's Woods. And a big game Did you see that? Did you bounds. see that? Sideline concentration. These two teams all tied after one. That was epic. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. I think they're in man. From the gun again to Henderson. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Two yep, yards on they the were. pick up there. It'll be second and eight. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And the Rams are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped out the guy can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Nice block. Nice block, Edwards. 
Edwards came right off his combo block and went up to the second level and got Bobby Wagner. Boom. Look at that. Yeah, Seahawks defense is not going to give us much resistance. They don't have a pass rush. Their defense is largely very predictable with the defensive plays that they run. Their secondary is pretty trash. I mean, they have Quandre Diggs, and uh, they do have Jamal Adams, but, like, Jamal Adams is not a good cover guy. On first and ten, it's Wilson. He gets it to Humphreys. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Now Wilson. And his throw is incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes where people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. On second down, it's Carson. And very little room to maneuver. Okay, third and long. Let's play a little man here. Leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. Tackle, tackle. Oh. I wasn't even looking. Was that a fumble? He was probably down. I'm not going to hold my breath. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it. I don't know why they have they have it like this, where the other team comes out before it's confirmed. Backfield as he gears up to go again. He's over 40 yards here in the second. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. And the question. Yeah, he was way down. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. They'll start out on the ground. Nice. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half. He's got Wallace. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. They go back to Carson here on second. Hmm. And again, the run defense stout this time. He made it's really hard to tackle Chris Carson behind the line back to back. No gain that time, and it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half. And I Hell yeah. It's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Let's, um, let's heat him up a little bit. The Rams calling on their nickel set here defensively for third down. Now it's Wilson. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And that nearly intercepted. Well, for a guy known for his hands defensively, that's a ball he probably thinks he should have come up with. But instead, it's fourth down. It's okay, I'll take the stop. Ready to pop Michael Dixon. This is where we create separation. We're going to be super conservative this drive just because we want to get that two touchdown lead. Guessing he's thinking, hey, let's find it three times. And you got to figure from the defensive perspective, how has he gotten there twice? What are we going to do to keep him out for a third time? How do we tighten things down? Because he and his offensive mates, they are really in sync right now. They'll run on first down. It's Henderson. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Here's second and a yard. 
Well, this offense, Charles, well, we've talked about how well they played all season. Sitting now at 13 0 with a finish line for mm. the regular season. That's in sight. Some of the media this week were pointing back to the 07 Patriots. Of course, remember oh. they finished the regular season <laughs> First of all, Bobby, Ma Bobby Wagner missed. And then Sony Michelle just put Jamal Adams in the spin cycle. Boom. Awesome. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. Flushed out right. Shit. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Turn that was a terrible throw, in. dude. I should have just thrown it out of bounds. And the return stops just a little bit shy of midfield at the 48. I'm gonna cop to that. That was terrible. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive. The Seahawks That was awful. As we grind toward the end of the season here, and they haven't had the season that they had hoped. So let me ask you to play GM. Where might they look to make some changes? Oh, that was awful. That was so crappy. Think hard about them drafting multiple offensive linemen. They've got to get stouter up front. And as a GM always tells me, Charles, this is a big boy league. And big people always end up winning games for you. From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. And he finds That's what happens. That's what happens in all Madden when you throw an interception. Tyler Lockett. They come back. <laughs> they always come back. So we could have gone from a two touchdown lead and now it's a tie game. Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And Woods has it complete. And he is finally out of bounds, but he gets all the way down right around the 20. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and ten just outside the red zone. Now Stafford. That's taken in by Henderson. And able to get this down inside the 15, even the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. A good first down call as the screenplay gets him nine. Good call there on first down. And Brandon, I'm getting better over the years and not screaming out, screen, screen, screen with my defensive training. They want to keep those pass rushers honest. And they did so there, and they wind up picking up positive yeah, the Rams are going to Run that clock down. First and goal is strong running, gets him to the nine-yard line. Well, think of it like you would a typical boxing match. The person is on his heels and absorbing blows. Is having a tough time. That's what's happening to the defense right now. Because the offense is on. Kind of want to run it down. Punching. Run it down here. Down right there. I threw the dumbest interception I've thrown all year. Try to pound it in here with Michelle. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. So that run gets him about halfway home. Yeah, it's now second and goal. The end zone beckons. It looms. They can do whatever they want. Full playbook. Run it again. Or I'm running right up the middle. And try and put it in that way. I really don't think Wagner's going to be able to get around uh, Brian Allen in time. Second down now. It's Henderson. And he'll get him a bit closer as he's down to the two-yard line. They get three yards closer, but still work to do. It's third and goal. That didn't just feel like good defense there. That felt like prime. Um, goal line? He's already gotten into the end zone twice, trying to get there for a third time. No one likes to have the hat trick against them. Shit. They'll try and run Henderson and he's Fuck. down in the field of Oh my god, I so dude, I screwed up. I took way too long to find that play. Has run out <clears throat> this first half. Shit. So we've hit halftime all even at We now proceed to the start of the second half.
Both these teams, no doubt, making their final halftime adjustments as we speak. And for the call of the second half, we get it back out to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, that's Both two scores. That's a two-score swing right there. <clears throat> that was grossly mismanaged by me. Second half, it was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. This one fielded at the five. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25 yard line. Now we wanted more of a challenge. That's why we switched to all Madden. And we got more of a challenge. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive. We got what we wanted. Offense. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this Why is, is Kenny Young game. on the field? No need, no need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half. So we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football. And win one for us. All -star. All -star. So that'll back him up five. They were looking good on second down, but now they're backed up five yards by the false start, and it's second and eight. Now it's Wilson. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. Now again, yeah. Boom. What a play by Robinson. What a play. He got outside. He got outside leverage. Yep. Damn, if I could have gotten a touchdown before half. On the return, Jackson. It's a 47-yard punt, return of six. And that will come the offense's All right, let's take. run the damn ball. Out come the Rams. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. On first down, Henderson. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open just a little underneath route, just trying to Okay, perfect play. Space. And it worked awfully well. They're blitzing off the right. We're running straight to the left. After the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Now a first down carry. It's Michelle. And he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run. All right? It was kind of stacked up. Found a little bit of yardage. And frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Flush to his right. That'll be caught. It's caught. And yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. The Rams, they are on the move. They've got another There's first Vaughn. down. That's a pretty throw right there. That There's Vaughn. Time, but it's Talking right with the coach. The right sideline, a really good route. Moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. What a completion there. Big-time arm strength. Very nice route. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. Now a handoff, Henderson, and nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Well, any lane that might have been open it's okay. closed pretty quickly, and that was because... We got this, we got this. They won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. On second down, back to Henderson. Henderson, a first down and more. And he's oh. After a very nice Dude, did you see him reach the ball for that? Did you see him reach the ball for the end zone? 
see the replay on that. He almost put that in. They went with the nickel look defensively, so they had five defensive backs in there. Didn't help them stop the run. Yeah, I love that. The nickel look, five sets, five DBs. But what also happens then? You take a big body off the field in order to insert that guy. So you're taking a big off for a little. And oftentimes, you can run the football effectively against that defense. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Daryl Henderson, his third touchdown of the game, number 19 on the year. And the Rams have broken our tie as they take the lead. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop it. <laughs> Can you stop it? That doesn't get more satisfaction out of running the football into the end zone than pass protecting. They had determination on their side, and they got it done. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And the lead is now 21-14. All right, if we can get one more stop. Get the ball back. We're in good shape. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. From the six. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Now the ball now going back over the Seattle Seahawks offense. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drop. As they head to the field now. There's no way Russell is the same height as DK Metcalf. <laughs> you got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Wilson's throw. Ooh. Metcalf. Five yards on the Big hit. Big Sunday. hit on Metcalf. Donald was in the backfield in an instant. That's what he does. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. The immediate shed. Okay, this is a big play. The Rams go nickel here defensively on third. Throwing is Wilson. Throw left side complete. Mm. That's Carson. And he'll lose yardage here. Got Hell yeah. Back at the 28. Tough Boom. Setting. They lose a yard there on third. Joseph Day has played a hell of a ball game. The defense in a big way and created big play. They weren't fooled. Not one second, not one bit. How about the Excellent play recognition there to see the screen and sniff it out. Now here's Michael Dixon. Okay. Run the ball some more. At least get a field goal out of the next drive. So possession goes over here on the punt. And possession will switch hands first and ten. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. He's had a touchdown for every quarter so far. Three here in the third and probably hoping he's not done yet. And this is a situation where it's okay to be greedy. When you've already scored three times, you want four, you want more than that. And guess what? That only helps your team. Yeah, so far three, now in search of four. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Again, it's Henderson. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. They'll try and run for it. Here's Michelle. And Hell yeah. Take it down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 59 yards now on the ground. I'll just, just wait till we get Cam Akers next year, dude. Just wait till we get Cam Akers. Try and regain some confidence. 
defense. And you're right, they need to stem the tide a little bit. That certainly helped. 